Good morning. On behalf of Sheriff Chris and the members of the Pima County Sheriff's Department, I would like to thank you all for joining us today for K-9 Kenzo's memorial service. We stand for the posting of colors, followed by the national anthem performed by Mrs. Eva Guzman. uniform personnel.
Argar! And all uniform personnel. Argar! Uniform personnel at ease. Thank you, Mrs. Guzman. Please be seated. At this time, I'd like to invite Chaplain Noah Adkins to the podium to offer the opening prayer. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we gather here today to memorialize the life of canine Kenzo, we come before you with heavy hearts, seeking your comfort and strength. Lord, we recognize the special bond that formed between Deputy Rodriguez and Kenzo. In the midst of danger and uncertainty, this partnership demonstrated the profound connection between humans and animals, reflecting the beauty of your creation and the trust they placed in each other. We ask that you would preside over this ceremony today and that you would ease the hearts of those who served with canine Kenzo, especially his family, Chris, Donnell, and Dominic. Amen. Thank you, Atkins. Good morning. My name is Paul Hill, and I'm a member of the Pima County Sheriff's Department. When Deputy Chris Rodriguez had part of K-9 Kenzo's memorial service, I was honored and without hesitation agreed. I would like to begin this morning by telling you about Deputy Chris Rodriguez, his career in the K-9 unit, and K-9 Kenzo. In January 2018, I was fortunate to be the supervisor of the Pima County Sheriff's Department K-9 unit when Chris was selected to be our newest K-9 handler. I was very proud of Chris when he was selected because I knew how hard he had worked to prepare for the assignment and how important it was to him. I knew that because of Chris's dedication, commitment, incredible worth and incredible work ethic, that he was going to be an excellent canine handler. The first police dog assigned to Chris was canine Rico. Rico had previously been assigned to Lieutenant Jacob Nixon, who was leaving the unit at that time due to his promotion to Sergeant. Chris and Rico worked well for several years together until it was time for him to retire. When a canine retires and a handler is partnered with a new dog, it's the honor of the family to create a quality and well-deserved retirement for the retired dog. Chris's wife, Danelle, and his son, Dominic, have performed this duty for Rico, which allowed Chris and his partner to continue the mission. In January 2022, Chris traveled to Lafayette, Louisiana, to help his next canine partner. After several days of testing numerous police dog candidates, Chris selected a three and a half Belgian Malinois named Kenzo as his new partner. I personally had the opportunity to speak with the dog vendor in Louisiana, and he was extremely complimentary of the way Chris handled uh, and, and tested the various police dog candidates, considering his short time as a canine handler. Even though I had moved on from my position in the canine unit, hearing those compliments about Chris again made me proud of him. It was clear to me that he continued to be the dedicated, hardworking man that he was when he first became a canine handler. Chris has always represented the department with an exemplary level of professionalism, and he con continues to do so today as his assignment in the canine unit. Once Kenzo was selected, Chris would find himself with a tremendous opportunity to train his canine partner from start to finish for the first time in his canine handler career. There's always something special and at the same time frightening about this process. The handler is keenly aware of the challenges and dangers we'll both face in the coming years. The handler also knows that commitment to the intense training is of the utmost importance in the handler and dog safe. Throughout the three basic training program, the handler and dog are challenged physically and emotionally. The training is filled with ups and downs. Dog and handler never settle for mediocre. By the time they're training, they truly have become the definition of the words and trust. This was very evident in the bond and partnership that Chris and Kenzo had. 
Police service dogs like Kenzo are incredibly, incredibly resilient animals. Most have been shipped thousands of miles from Europe, are taken by unfamiliar people to new homes and environments where they remain welcoming, trusting, and loyal to their new handler. The dogs are then introduced to and quickly become part of the handler's family and a special bond is formed. Canine teams typically work at night when their families are home asleep. Many people may not realize that because of the schedule demands placed on the canine handler, that they actually spend more time with their canine partner than they do with their own family. And they do this with the patience and support of their family. Each night, when the handler and dog leave to go to work, the family is now sending off two loved ones to do what is widely accepted as one of the most consistently dangerous assignments in law enforcement. Chris and Kenzo's family had their routine at the beginning of every shift, which included love and requests for a safe shift, a crucial role that the family plays in the well-being of a canine team. During the almost two years that Chris and Kenzo selflessly keep the citizens of Pima County safe, the results of their to training and strong work ethic yielded tremendous results. Chris and Kenzo were instrumental in the capture and arrest of violent and dangerous individuals. The Sus canine team captured were serious threats to the citizens of Pima County, and they were wanted for extremely violent crimes to include homicide, aggravated assault, robbery, and rape. Chris and Kenzo also recovered five firearms that were valuable uh, items of evidence. They located over 20,000 fentanyl pills and found five pounds of methamphetamine. Less than one month ago, Chris and Kenzo traveled to compete in the annual canine trials held in Scottsdale, Arizona. They competed against more, of, more than 40 of the best canine teams in the Southwest region in extremely challenging scenarios. Chris and Kenzo finished in third place in the coveted handler protection exercise. Historically, the caliber of quality of, I'm sorry, the caliber and quality of dogs the Pima County Sheriff's Department selects, trains, and deploys are of the highest standards. If you travel around the state of Arizona and talk with canine handlers from other agencies, you'll find that many of them have coined the term, quote, Pima County, end quote. This term came to be a longstanding tradition of strict testing standards dating back to the 19th in order to be selected as a Pima County dog, they must have strength, intelligence, courage, and have the inherent drives suited for the challenges of police work. Our rigorous testing standards, coupled with the training techniques passed down through many generations of canine handlers, results in dogs worthy of the term Pima County dog. The bar has always been set extremely high. Chris and Kenzo not only met these required standards, they surpassed them adding to the rich legacy of the Pima County Sheriff's Department. The Sheriff's Department and our community will always be extremely grateful for Kenzo's service and sacrifice. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the posting of our memorial flag. Stand by. On go. And all uniformed personnel.
Honor Guard, stand by. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to resume where we left off. And for everyone in the crowd, if you could uh, ensure that your uh, police radios are turned off, please. Thank you. Honor Guard and all uniform personnel, present out. uniform personnel.
Please be seated. Chris, Donnell, Dominic, we mourn with you today over the life of K-9 Kenzo. I spent many years working for this department, and I can say confidently that there isn't a deputy, corrections officer, civilian, or commander here who isn't saddened by your loss. I had an opportunity to speak with Chris this week and hear some stories about Kenzo. Kenzo and Dominic were actually born just five days apart, very far apart in the nation, but just five days apart in time. And they shared an energy that was crazy and infectious. Dominic wasn't able to interact with Kenzo yet, but they were already creating a connection. Dominic would watch Kenzo through their glass door and get excited. You see, Dominic had interactions with other dogs, but none that he wanted to play with as much as Kenzo. They were already creating a bond. But Chris told me that the combination of their chaotic energy wasn't something either of them were, was ready for yet. A week before Kenzo lost his life in the line of duty, he was with Chris at the Desert Dog Trials. Chris told me that during the trials, Dominic was so loud and so hard that you could barely hear anything else on the video Donnell took at the event. It was at this moment when Chris said, Dominic really began to understand that Kenzo was a force to respect. But Dominic also learned that Kenzo wasn't scary. He was a dog. And so Dominic just waited forward to the day he would soon have a new friend. That time was coming, but the Rodriguez family were robbed of it. Kenzo was on the verge of becoming a part of the Rodriguez pack, right on the cusp of getting an experience, or getting to experience what it meant to have a family after all the training and hard work that he was put through. When his life was senselessly taken by a horrible act of violence. And so we grieve. We grieve for the relationship that was beginning and the canine life that was cut short. And we grieve because the bond between man and canine is like no other bond between animal and man. You see, when God created mankind, he gave us dominance over every animal on the earth. And then he commanded Adam and Eve, the first humans on earth, to go and tame the land. And although there are thousands and thousands of animals on this planet to choose from, the first animal that we, the human species, chose to tame were dogs. Fast forward through 10,000 years of partnership, and dogs have become man's best friend, saving thousands of lives every year, providing care and comfort to over 87 million homes in America. Canine embodied everything it means to be man's best friend. There's also so much more. Kenzo was a trained the County Sheriff Department K-9, serving and protecting the hard men and women of this department. And his bond with Chris a whole that I can't put into words. And only God, these men and women in the K-9 unit, can fully understand. But in the midst of this tragedy, we must remember that God gives us hope in his holy word. In the book of Isaiah, the prophet details a picture of what heaven will be like. And I believe it's a very encouraging picture for those of us here today. Isaiah 11, 6 through 9 says this, The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, and the calf and the lion, and the fattened calf together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like an ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Again, just to say it one more time, verse 6 says, The wolf shall dwell with the lamb. If you didn't know before today, no, there will be dogs in heaven. The Bible goes on to say in Revelation, that in heaven God will wipe away every tear from our eyes, and that there shall be no more, and neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. See, heaven is a place where God's people will dwell in peace and comfort, a place where those who know God will experience a perfect existence, and that perfect existence would be lacking if dogs weren't there. So I can say with confidence, because God's word says it, and because God char God's character reveals it, that Kenzo is in heaven now, finally experiencing everything it means to be in a pack. 
And I can also say with confidence that we will see him again when we leave this earthly plane for our true home with our Father and Creator in heaven. Thank you, Chaplain Atkins. At this time, I'd like to ask the current supervisor of the K-9 unit, Sergeant Eric Maldonado, to say a few words. Yeah, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. I am often asked the best and worst parts of being a canine handler. And the answer is pretty simple. It's the bond and the goodbye. And it's the strength of that bond that makes saying goodbye so incredibly difficult. The foundation of the bond between a canine handler and their dog is built on a two-way street of mutual trust and respect. It is a deep connection formed through countless moments of trust where the handler relies on the dog's keen senses and loyalty to keep them safe. Through ups and downs, trials and tribulations, this bond grows stronger and becomes unbreakable, transcending the boundaries of life and death. But this bond is more than just a partnership. It teaches us invaluable life lessons. It prompts us to be humble and find joy in the simplest of things. It shows us the power of compassion and the importance of being there for others. In a world that often feels divided, the presence of a dog represents the pure goodness that still exists. It teaches us that being present in the moment is way better than the past. Our lives are marked by two dates, signifying the beginning and the end. But it's the dash in the middle that means the most. In their absence, we realize just how much brighter this world would be with a few more dogs in it. Dogs like Kenzo. So while we may never know the words a canine partner would say to their handler if they could speak. I believe there is a poem that captures their essence and unwavering devotion. I would like to share this poem with you as a tribute to Chris and to Kenzo, who share this unbreakable bond. Trust in me, my friend, for I am your partner. I will protect you from the last breath. And when all others have left and the loneliness of the night settles in, know that I will be at your side. Together, we will conquer all obstacles and search out those who wish to do harm to others. All I ask of you is compassion and the caring touch of your hand. It is for you that I will unselfishly give my life and spend my nights unrested. Although our days may be marked by the passing of the seasons, know that each day by your side is my reward. 
My days are measured by the coming and going of your footsteps. I, am, I anticipate them at every opening of the door. You are the voice of caring when I am ill, the voice of authority when I have done wrong. Do not chastise me unduly, for I am your right arm, the sword at your side. I attempt only to do what you bid of me and remain in your favor. I will quietly listen and pass no judgment, nor will your spoken words be repeated. I will remain ever silent, ever vigilant, ever loyal. Our time together is done, and you move on in this world. Remember me with kind thoughts, and for a time, we were unbeatable. Nothing pass among us undetected. And if we should meet on another street, I will gladly take up your fight. My name is K-9 Kenzo. I am a Pima County dog, and I am a guardian of the night. Thank you, Sergeant Maldonado. The Medal of Valor is Pima County Sheriff's Department's second highest honor. It's awarded for a distinguished act of gallantry while engaged against an adversary of Pima County. On October 27, 2023, approximately 10 p.m., patrol deputies were actively searching for a robbery suspect who was hiding within a fenced commercial yard in the area of Fort Lowell Road and Alvernon Way. Chris Rodriguez responded to that call and deployed K-9 Ken to search for and apprehend the suspect. In a short period of time, Deputy Rodriguez did not hear any stimulus from either the suspect or K-9 Kenzo, so he and other deputies to search the property. K-9 Kenzo K-9 Kenzo was located motionless and unresponsive under a flatbed trailer. As Deputy Rodriguez and others moved up to K-9 Kenzo, the suspect was located under the same trailer near him. Deputies were forced to use chemical agents to gain compliance from the resistive suspect. Immediately after the suspect was taken into custody, Deputy Rodriguez rushed K-9 Kenzo to the veterinary hospital, but he succumbed to his injuries. The criminal investigation revealed that during the apprehension, K-9 Kenzo sustained multiple injuries at the hands of the robbery suspect from which he could not recover. Without hesitation and absent of any fear of the potential consequences, K-9 Kenzo performed his duties that night with spirit, courage, dedication, and determination. His heroism undoubtedly protected deputies and saved lives. The Pima County Sheriff's Department will be eternally to K-9 Kenzo for his service to this department, to this person, and to the citizens of Pima County. For his first act of gallantry, performing conspicuously above the normal expected standard, and for making the ultimate sacrifice that others may live, K-9 Kenzo is posthumously awarded the Pima County Sheriff's Department Medal of Valor. Furthermore, when one of our members is killed in the line of duty, it is customary to present a shadow box to a surviving family member that recognizes, commemorates, and honors the fallen's dedicated service to, to the Pima County Sheriff's Department. At this time, I'd like to invite Sheriff Chris Nanos to present K-9 Kenzo's Medal of Valor and commemorative shadow box to Deputy Chris Rodriguez.
Thank you, Sheriff Hannes. In law enforcement, it is customary to present a brand new folded American flag to a surviving family member as a tribute to the lasting importance of the fallen member's service and sacrifice. Today, as this American flag is presented and folded, you may notice that it shows some sig significant signs of wear. That's because it has some, some difficult miles on it. At the request of Chris, the flag presented and folded today is the same flag that was used for K-9 Kenzo the night he was killed. This flag remains K-9 Kenzo throughout the procedures and movements that followed his death. Instead of this flag being ceremoniously retired, it was folded, presented to, and remain with Chris and his family. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the firing of three volleys, followed by the playing of taps. Stand by. Argo! And all uniformed personnel. and all uniformed personnel present Honor Guard and all uniformed personnel, order up! All uniformed personnel, at ease. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Piper, on your command.
Attention to all units, stand by for end of watch announcement for K-9 Kenzel. Attention all units, K-9 Kenzel was tragically killed in the line of duty on October 27, 2023. He made the ultimate sacrifice while courageously attempting to apprehend the violent criminal, putting the safety of his handler, other peace officers and members of the community before his own. We are grateful for his loyal service to King County. He is gone but will never be forgotten. God speed, King and Kenzo. We'll take it from here. At this time, I would like to invite Ken and Kenzo's hand partner, Deputy Chris Rodriguez, up to the podium. Good morning. This has been one of the hardest things I have ever had to endure. Kenzo was my friend, my partner, and my protector. He fought for us that night so that we could go home safely. He is undoubtedly a hero, and I am honored to have been his handler. Thank you to the community for the outpouring support, especially Family Pet Services and Bailey and staff from VCA Animal Hospital. Thank you to Sheriff Nanos and the department for your thoughts, prayers, and commitment to Kenzo's honor. Thank you to Lieutenant Carpenter, the honor guard, and other department members involved with coordinating an amazing and honorable tribute. Thank you to Sergeant Maldonado for working tirelessly since Kenzo died to be sure he was honored appropriately. Thank you to the K-9 unit for giving me your support as you grieved us along. Thank you to my friends and family, especially my wife, Danelle, Dominic. You have helped me show you through this tragedy. Thank you, Kenzo. I am grateful for your sacrifice. Zoya Brav Kenzo, I will see you again, my friend. Please join with me one more time in prayer. Lord, as we leave today, 
We thank you for the courage and loyalty displayed by K-9 Kenzo, who willingly placed his life on the line to protect and serve. As we mourn his passing, we also celebrate the joy he brought to those who worked alongside him and the lives he touched within this law enforcement community. Lord, be with Chris, his fellow officers, and all who mourn this loss. Grant them strength, peace, and assurance that Kenza will be remembered for his unwavering dedication and sacrifice. We entrust Kenzo into your loving care, knowing that your love extends to all those great and small. May he find rest and peace in your presence. Amen. As we approach the end of today's memorial service, take the time to recognize those who generously, generously helped make it possible. Family pet services bring the cremation service and presentation box for K9 Kenzo the Sheriff's Auxiliary Volunteers. Memorial wreaths were provided by the PCSD Community Services Division, the Fraternal Order of Police, Pima Lodge No. 20, the Sheriff's Labor Association of Pima County. Retired Tucson Police Department Sergeant Frank Rao for providing a variety of photographs of Deputy Chris Rodriguez and Ken Ayn Kenzo. Memories on Canvas artist Miss Rose Dobbins for providing a painted portrait of K9 Kenzo. Refreshments were provided by Starbucks, Chick fil A, and Walmart. When a deputy and their family make a decision to commit to the duties of the canine unit, they're aware of the potential loss they may face one day. Chris, you and your family have endured an unthinkable and senseless loss. This is a canine handler's worst fear. Your immediate family, your extended department family, community, will always remember the sacrifice that Kenzo made. We will be forever grateful for his service and sacrifice. This concludes our memorial service for K-9 Kenzo. We are grateful and thank you for your attendance. We invite you to join us for refreshments in our break room, which is located through this gate to your right. Thank you. <laughs>